Hello everybody. Thank you to my new subscribers. I very much appreciate you. And I'm coming in to talk about the full moon and the releasing, the recharging, and the after effects of the moon. So many people know what to do with the full moon and there's tons of information out there to do with the full moon. But what happens after the full moon? We're all left with all this high pent up energy from the full moon and we need to release. And sometimes after that release, we're sometimes sad or doubtful. And these are the times after the full moon where the darkness is a little bit sleep slipping in, slipping into our subconscious. Although we might feel that we released, sometimes in the next coming days, we're faced with challenges, disappointments, or heartbreaks. After the full moon, it's a great time to give yourself permission to continue to release. To allow yourself to feel those emotions. Dig deep into your tears. Dig deep into your fears. Write them out. Sing them out. Paint them. Draw them. Talk to the trees. Speak to the sky beings. You're never alone. It's okay to share those feelings and let them out. However, let them out in a safe way that doesn't hurt you or others. Sometimes we're careless and we allow our words to hurt others and we feel guilty afterwards. It's okay to apologize for those feelings, but it's okay for you to have those feelings as well. Honor your feelings. I too was kind of spiritually nudged into this this kind of podcast as I'm very emotional today. I've been releasing many tears and up to right up to the full moon it was just energy, 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 go, go, go. But I was so full of happiness and I, I just couldn't get over it. But I was tired and I was dragging and good old spirit taught me too put me on my butt again. I had to deal with things that I thought had been done and they were emotionally overcharging for me. I thought I had released everything I needed to release and yet I woke up this morning all teary-eyed. Although I kept holding on and refocusing and refocusing, my energies came back to having tears and that's when it hit me spirit was teaching me a lesson a lesson to share with others and a lesson for myself too so today I'm going to honor myself and just do the things that I'd like to do the things that I need to do and when I do the things that I need to do I'm going to do them with a magical intention knowing that I'm taking care of myself with everything that I'm doing and that perhaps today I'll be a little bit slower, a little bit more mindful and a lot more softer with myself and my heart to understand that I'm going to burst out in tears and that maybe some of my fears are going to come up. I personally find creative ways to express these things. Sometimes it's just a blob of paint on a paper and I rub my hands all over it. Whatever color feels right for me in that moment. I take another color if I need to, sometimes three, four, eight. Whatever's feeling right in the moment, whatever's expressing those feelings. And I've learned that even though I thought I had no artistic capability at that moment because I was just releasing feelings, 
I looked at the paintings afterwards and remember what I had felt and the emotions I had gone through and how I would got there. Perhaps I can invite you to find a piece of paper and find some colors and this could be crayons, paint, markers, pencil crayons and you can just scribble maybe trace your hand and do little bubbles and color in those little bubbles and just allow your mind to go this is like coloring but even more freeing without any lines another act is having a shower or a bath with a bath you can allow it all to release with a shower you can intentionally set the water coming in with emotions of I'm releasing to emotions that I'm recharging. Your intention has amazing power. Oh, I got an itchy nose there. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was like the fairies twinkled my nose. They've been very active around me the last few days. The full moon really activated them. So please keep your eyes out for them. I believe that was a nudge. <laughs> Back to what I was saying about the recharging with the shower. You can release and recharge with the shower. And if you haven't heard of Dr. Emoto's work, I encourage you to look it up. They have proven over and over again that with our simple intention, we can change the molecules of water. And more scientific evidence is following up, if that's what you need. But please know, you are a magical being. I put up the Billy Carson video to remind everybody that we are energy generators. We have so much energy inside of us. And once we focus our intention and understand what our body's doing, we can make miracles happen with our lives and others. Today, I'm releasing. I'm releasing that I won't be able to see my daughter the next few days. And I really miss her. And I'm about to have a wonderful joyful moment in my life and not being able to see her because she might be COVID positive is just heartbreaking for this mummy. I'm worried for her and her tests have come back negative so that's a good thing but she still has a cough and people in her life are asking her to get retested just to be on the safe side. And I can understand that. This COVID has really taken its toll on all of us. And I have done very well with keeping a pretty high spirit about it. However, today I decided it's my day to release. It's my day to release what I've been feeling about this virus and all, all it's done all of its effects not only on my life but others I've been processing it all along to certain degrees however we all have a point where our will just says no more it's time to release So thank you my lovely Vibe Tribe, I appreciate you all so much. I do have a little bit of a busy week and I will be putting up videos as soon as I can. I will be putting up another heart-centered meditation that I've done. I'm just putting it together and getting the editing features 
um, that I've been carrying a 40 pound cement mushrooms <laughs> as I've been creating um, a nature mandala for my city here in Niagara Falls. So if you're in the area and you're in Niagara Falls, Canada and you're able to come to an outdoor installation at City Hall, please feel free to bring your intentions and your energies to the mandala. And if not, I'm going to put up a video here on my channel and also on my art channel um, so everybody can have their moment to share their energy and intention, wishes or prayers with the mandala. And my hope is building this intention, which I do know intention does grow, building this intention with creating the mandala and allowing a person to take an individual journey within themselves, within themselves and each other and the universe and the cosmos, that they're going to receive good medicine. And with releasing an intention or a wish, I'm giggling because I just realized that it all came in circle back, just like a mandala that I too am releasing, releasing more than I thought. <laughs> I can imagine that I could be releasing. And I'll be recharging as I build this mandala <laughs> with all this hope and love that I have for our world, for my community, for people. My prayer and wish and intention for this mandala is that we find our inner peace as a whole and begin to really thrive as communities like the natural world teaches us. Thank you so much for sharing time and space with me right now. I greatly appreciate you and thank you for coming along on this journey.